YouTube. This is the 2000 kilometer review of my Held Scrambler. Um, I don't know if you can hear that, but the exhaust is ticking like mad because I've just been thrashing the guts out of it. Well, what can I say? Uh, all right, a couple of issues. One, I had crashed it. Only at about 10 mile an hour with the front wheel slid from under me on some green stuff, giving way to another car. Bike come off alright. Got a uh, straight bar end, it's like four quid replacement. Clutch lever, not going to bother replacing that, all still on it. Uh, myself, bruised ribs, because I landed awkwardly uh, for a long time. But the bike's alright. Issues, I got a uh, petrol light kind of half lit all the time but does work when it actually needs petrol it lights up properly uh, what else is there yeah issue with the rear brake right with the rear brake a slightly seized piston problem is with the rear brake on this bike you have to take the axle out of the wheel to get the caliper off that's a ridiculous design what a mission just to take the brake caliper off, I've got to take the wheel off. Uh, and then the piston wouldn't push back in, so I had to take the brake reservoir cap off the front as well as the rear brake to push the piston in. So I reset the pistons on the front brake as well as the rear brake, pushed all the pistons in, put it all back together. You know, caps back on the reservoirs, pump the brakes, all reset. But the rear brake pad on piston side is completely shot so I'm going to replace them with some EBC ones I don't want to do EBC ones for the front yet but they'll definitely be going in once I get it but apart from that still rides great great fun not much else to say really just a great bike started every time I needed it to start even with the extremely cold weather Biggest issue I have is keeping the front clean. Absolutely filthy. Like washing it at least once a week with this rubbish weather. But apart from that, no issue. Oh, yeah, gear leave and bent right back. I've just got my camping stove out. Give that a lot of heat. Obviously took off the bike and took the rubber off it, but give it a lot of heat and gently bent it back. 14 quid for a replacement. Have to get from Herald Direct, which is a pain. But everything else is all good. No problems. Pull the spark plug out and give that a check. It's absolutely fine out of 2,000 miles or 2,000 kilometres. That's absolutely fine. You know? I'm going to replace the uh, HT cap with an NGK one because they're only three quid and they should just unscrew off and screw an NGK one on. Um, got an NGK spark plug in anyway and I will be replacing the chain next week for uh, I think it's a JT chain, heavy duty, because the chain on it is absolutely rubbish, it stretches and stretches so I'm replacing that as soon as I can in the next couple of weeks. Uh, really, that's about it. See you later. Bye-bye.